Hey, welcome back everybody. And today we're gonna work on strokes, all right? So we've been looking at shapes and creating different shapes. And now we're gonna take a look at the uh, line around it. So let's go ahead and create a new document. And we're gonna do the same thing we've been doing. We, this would ever load here. We are gonna make a letter size document. So once again, might be in your little um, recent items menu where you can always go to print, letter, I'm gonna hit landscape just because it fits our screen a little better. Hit create. All right, and here we are. So let's go ahead and start with just a shape. It doesn't really matter which one. Let's, let's do an ellipse. Let's do an ellipse here. I'm gonna make it ellipse. Doesn't have to be a um, perfect circle or anything. And the default gives us a stroke of one you know, a fill of white, right? And a little black stroke of one. We obviously know we can change that. Right here, change the size of the stroke. But, okay, and again, we're in the, uh, we have the control bar open. And if you don't have that open, just to uh, be clear, you can go to window and you can turn it on right there under control. Okay, so there's that there. Let's take a look at what we get in the control bar and then we'll look at the, uh, a window for strokes. So we've got the size, okay, we got that. We got the color right there. Now if we go over here, we've got some other options. So let's check this out here. We can hit that button and we're getting this line that gets thicker and thinner. Let's check the next one out. All right, we've got it getting thicker and thinner and then thicker again. So as we're seeing here, our stroke does not have to be just a uniform line it can have different shapes to it. And it gives you a little preview of the shape and then obviously it um, makes it fit the uh, shape you have, the path you have. I can still change the size of it, right? I can still make the stroke larger or smaller. And it has different effects depending on what the shape is. Oops, no, we're not going there yet, sorry. Last one right there. Okay, let's just do another shape here. I'm gonna leave that like that and I want you to leave it as well. And let's go ahead and make a new one. Let's just make a rectangle and see how these little lines, um, ununiform lines, react around a rectangle. Make it a little thicker so I can see it more clearly. So I had to up it a bit. All right, gives us some interesting looking things. All sorts of different things. All right, and here are some ununiform lines we can uh, change our stroke to. Okay, now let's go to the next one over. And let's just try this. Okay, let's hit the different ones and you can see this looks like a rounded kind of edge to them all. All right, I'm gonna make that thicker so I can see what's going on here. These are like different kind of strokes. This one looks a little more calligraphic. Is that right? Calligraphic, more like calligraphy. oval okay and um, let's just keep exploring here okay that's interesting and that one there okay so we got some options there but that's not all let's take a look at some of these so we got basic again I'm gonna make this window a little longer by going here and we've got like a sampling of some different other different strokes <laughs> right here and it's just a sample because we actually can load a lot more. We even have a pattern here. We can have an image kind of repeat over there. So there are a lot of options here, okay? Let's look right here. Okay, so if I drop down this right here, let's take a look at this too. This doesn't have it. This side does here. And I go to this little drop down menu. Okay, I got all these other options. New brush, duplicate brush, and I can make a new brush. I can duplicate them. These are all brushes here. I can remove the stroke. All this I don't really need so much, but what I want to show you here is a brush library. Okay, now we're kind of getting into some new territory here. We've got all sorts of different brushes. So let's go ahead and open up just the first one, Arrows, Arrows Special. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so we've got some extra strokes here. So they're not all, and I'm just gonna open that up. Well, maybe not that much, there's a lot. We can scroll if we need to here, so look down. There's all sorts of different arrows here. So I'm gonna select this shape again, make sure it's selected. Let's go ahead and click on some of these. And now I've got 
all sorts of different options and we can't go through each one it'll take too long and you know you're never going to use all these uh, for anything really but I just want to show you where they are all right and let's just open another one as well let's close that let's go to open brush library and as you see that's not even all the uh, brushes here here's a pattern one let's see what goes on there okay that's interesting whoops let's see select Oh, that's weird. <clears throat> so it's got all these patterns here. Um, let's check. Let's let me try something real quick. I want to see if I can get that ending to show up. So I'm gonna leave that open, just like a little window there. I'm gonna make a line real quickly. Let's see here. Okay, let's add that. All right. And when I have an ending to it, you can see here that it puts the little arrow on it. A little bigger so we can see it right but if it's closed off it uh, closes the whole thing off okay so there's some pattern ones let's go ahead well, I'll leave that open in case you want to change that one as well um, let's look at a couple more just to show you some of the options here the brush library artistic and there's just so many here paintbrush scroll pen watercolor I'll just pick one paintbrush let's see what that does here so it gives me these kind of like broken up kind of distressed looking paint strokes. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's leave that there. Just so we can see that we've tried different things. Let's make a new shape and let's try applying some different things here. And you can see here it's opened up all the ones I've opened up so far. They're kind of in this little window. Um, let's go to, oh, there it is. Looking for the rectangle tool. Um, well, let's just try polygon to do something different. I'm gonna hold shift. That amount of sides is fine. And I can close these if I want to. We can pull this out and close this. Pull that out and close that. I'll leave that there. Let's go, wrong area, right here. Let's open brush library and bristle brush. Look at all these things. Image brush library, vector packs, um, 3D brushes. Yeah, all sorts of different things. Let's just try decorative here, and then we'll try something else. Oh, banners and seals. Sure, let's try that. Let's see what happens if I had a banner there. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. So different banners applied to um, the shape. These are obviously meant to be more on our line. Oops, cancel that. Let me select our line. Let's try a little banner on there. All sorts of different things. All right, let's just leave that as it is so we can see what, woo, didn't mean to grab it like that. Let's grab it like this. Move it up a little out of the way. Give myself some more room here. Let's make a different brush. Let's try, let's try the star just to see what happens to different things. And let's try some other ones. I'm gonna go here, load some, another brush library. Um, let's see what the vector pack does. Grunge vector pack. Okay, so we've got our, whoops, cancel. It's already selected, I think. Nope, there it is. Now it's selected with a black arrow. And now I've got a grungy looking star. All right, and it's got these lines here. Distressed grunge lines. All right, that's kind of cool. I like that one. And let's just try another one. For, to finish this off. Now again, you can go and experiment and try all these. I just want you to get a few samples up there. Let's try a circle again. Select it with a black arrow. Let's see. Um, let's just see what the, the 3D brushes are. Let's see what happens there. Okay, here we go. Get a little bigger so I can see. Okay, okay. Let's try some different ones. Interesting. Okay. All right. And uh, yeah, we've got a bunch of different brushes. So those are your options. Um, you can, you know, if you're using it, you can leave this open, but I don't normally don't have this open because I'm normally not going through all that. But those are different ways you can change the stroke from just having a uh, line to a, uh, 
you know, to all sorts of different things. Now you can obviously change the color of the stroke, right? The same way uh, we did before. Um, the only problem is some of them, like this one, we wouldn't be able to change the color for this one or this one here. So um, this one here, yeah, we can change the color of that, right? But these ones that are more like an image, they're kind of set in their colors. So um, that's the stroke. Let's see, um, anything else up here that's helpful? Uh, the opacity, uh, we haven't looked at this yet, but this just makes it um, lowers or, you know, the, the opacity if you want things to become transparent. Uh, style, eh, don't really ever use this so much. So that's about it for what I would use here. There's all sorts of um, width and height and all these calculations, but I, I just kind of usually go visually. Um, that's good enough for now. Let's look at the, lastly, the stroke window. So I'm gonna go to window and I'm gonna go to stroke. And here it is all small and it's got the weight and that's really not that impressive here. But there's more. There we go. Uh, so I just double clicked on this here to make it larger or smaller here. See this little, these little uh, buttons right there. Okay. Let's open it all the way here. Okay, there we go. So now a lot of these are going to be the same as they are in the control bar up here. The weight. But something that's not up there is uh, this section. So let's go ahead and make a new shape here and I'm going to do a let's do a polygon because I want some corners here we don't want a circle okay let's zoom in a little let's make it a little larger so we can see what's going on whatever color is fine okay so let's check out the cap here so I'm, I, I'm leaving it selected the cap didn't do anything because there's no end okay that's okay uh, let's go to corner Okay, now we can see something, and these corners are changing, right? This one are this one's straight points, this one's rounded, and this last one gives us like a little cut on the end. Okay, interesting. That's pretty cool. Um, let's leave it. I'm gonna leave it rounded. Let's make another one, like a line, so we can see what the cap does. And I'm gonna go here. Let's make a line. Um, doesn't matter the direction here. And I can see here the cap, I can change it to a flat end, rounded end, and this will um, make it flat again. But you can see it goes around the shape. I don't know if you can tell. This one ends right at the point uh, where our line ends. This one on the end kind of surrounds it, okay? I'm gonna leave it rounded just so we can obviously tell that there's a difference. And let's do another shape. I always lose it when it's the line shape. I can't find it. Um, doesn't really matter. I'll do an ellipse. Do a circle. I'll hold shift. Okay. So I'm going to change the color just because the uh, the uh, path is blue and the the um, color is blue, and that's not helpful for what I'm about to show you. So let's find something that we can see. Okay, well, we can see that pretty well. Orange against the blue. So let's select it here. And lastly, I want to look at the align stroke. So if you look at the first one, the stroke is aligned to the center of my path. But if I go on this one here, now it goes on the inside of my path, right? And it may not seem like a big deal, but this does matter sometimes when you're drawing certain things and you want the stroke to go, uh, you know, on one side or another. Uh, you can control that here with the align stroke, okay? So we can change it to the outside, middle, or inside. I'll leave it on the outside there. Okay, and we want to look at um, this bottom part here as well. So let's go ahead and make another shape. And we're leaving all these shapes here so we have some record of what we've done, what we've accomplished so far, and what we've learned. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a star. And you can see it, it went with the same um, setup that I had for the last shape I made, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. I'm gonna make it back in the middle and corners probably won't matter, but I'm gonna set it back to kind of how it normally is. And here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this dashed line and see what happens. And whoa, it all of a sudden breaks up my stroke into dashed lines. Now, you can control that a little bit here. We've got this thing, which changes the way it lines up. And 
You can also change the size still. Okay, you're gonna get a different look there. But you can also change the size of the dash and the gap. Okay, so let's say, let's just try, I'm gonna do 10. And then I'm gonna do the gap five. Let's just see what happens there. Okay, we get a gap that's smaller, right? Because it's only five points in the dash that's longer because it's 10 points. And you can even change, make a pattern here. Let's say I want the next one to be 20. So it's big. And then I want the, the gap to be five again. So I can get all sorts of different patterns going here. Um, and you can see I've got an even one more. Let's try another one. Let's do 30 here. Let's make it get bigger. And then let's go five again. Okay. So get you can get many different looks and um, you know with your dash line. It doesn't have to just be straight dashes. And uh, you know, by controlling it here with this little pattern. Okay, so I'll go ahead and leave that there. And you know, let's look at well, this is just the arrowheads again. Um, let's go ahead and make one anyways. So I make a line there and it came with the same presets as before, but let's go ahead and change that to an arrowhead. So you can see here, I put a little arrow on the end of it. Now it still kept the dashed line. And here on the other side, you can make a uh, arrowhead as well. And my line is obviously really short. So we're unable to see it. So let's do that. I'm going to drag it a little longer. And we can put arrows on one side or arrows on both sides or none and just have it like an arrow like that. All right. So that's our arrowheads to put at the end of lines. Okay. Um, the alignment can be on the outside like this or the inside of my point, depending on how you want it. Um, lastly, we've got this uh, other profile right here, which looks the same as this right there on the control where we could change the shape of our line. Even with dashes, we can kind of manipulate it and stuff. Whoop, am I selected? Let's try that again. There we go. So we've got some options with our strokes and there they are. So hopefully you made a bunch of these and now you know a bit on how to manipulate the stroke. I think we're ready to kind of create a little um, image on the next tutorial. All right. Hope to see you guys back and hope you learned something and had some fun.